So today I'm at CMS SEPCO here in Colville in Leicestershire. Um, and with Rob, we're going to be talking about this, the installation of these uh, two fantastic Honor uh, vertical lathes from DTS. Rob, you've got experience of using the other vertical lathe that you've got here. Are these two that are being installed the same? Are they the same size? Do they do the same job? No, they're, um, the ta table size of the Honor down the other pit is 1.6 metres. These are 1.25. So they're going to do the slightly smaller range of products that we've got. And what do you make? Give our audience that don't know, that haven't seen videos I've done with you before, what are you making? Yeah, we make all the parts for quarry machinery, the crushing industry. So you're servicing the aftermarket, aren't you? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, we make all the spares. Yeah. So what would be the sorts of parts you'd be putting on here? How big would they be? What's the sort of metal removal you're doing? Uh, give us an idea of what is going to go through these types of machines. Well, you'd be looking to put um, probably the smaller range of heads up to, say, a HP 400, we'll hopefully be able to get on there. Uh, you'd want to try and put them, you know, make the maximum, take the maximum out of the machine. Um, there's other things like eccentrics that we, we can put on there. There's a variety of seal rings. And how big would these be? How much would they weigh, just to give us a flavour of what they're... The... Uh, you'd be looking at somewhere, you know, two to three tonne. A lot of the parts that would go on there for the maximum sort of weight. You can't lift them yourself, hence the reason no. for these, these cranes. And that's why these machines are sunken into this pit, aren't they? Because sh the sheer physical size of the machines, you wouldn't have been able to fit them in. But really, over two tonnes you get on these tables and you're machining parts like that. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We would yeah. do that, yeah. Uh, what sort of metal removal do you get out of these machines as well? How hard do you hit these parts? Well, I mean, uh, some of our parts require uh, quite low tolerances. So, it, and depending on how hard, uh, how well you're holding them, you're looking at around, you know, four mil a side. Eight, that's a to total of eight mil to take off per cut when you're roughing. You maybe get a little bit more out of it. Um, With the nature of the work and the industry that you're in, I'm imagining that these are quite hard materials as well, because they'll need to be durable, won't they, in the, in the crushing sector? Yeah, recently I uh, machined two parts that were manganese on uh, that one down there, but these will, you know, equally they will do that as well. Uh, that's a hard material, took that, no problem whatsoever. Um, the Honor range yourself, have you been impressed as a machinist? I mean, it's always great to talk to the guys that are actually at the machine, setting them, programming them. Do you ever you know come across any problems with these you ever find things that they can't do uh, no not really because obviously it's a turning machine but you've got the added advantage of the live tooling on there so that's when you know one of the big selling part points of these because you can put a part on and you, you're either going to complete it on the machine or more or less complete it so you get the drilling done with it if there's a little bit of milling to be done on it that can be done on here tapping you know. this, this is quite interesting because you've got lots of milling machines in here as well. Mm, correct. Some big uh, Correa bed mills from, uh, from DTS as well. Are they capable milling machines or are they really turning machines that can do a little bit of milling? Is there much power there? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we, we use them as a, as a turning machine. They do hold a lot of power. Yes, they do hold a lot of power. The, the, the lock on it's really powerful, so it holds it in position for when you drill in. Because um, that solid lock system is one of the key features they push on the Honor. Yes. That it's up to 10 times more clamping force to give you that rigidity on their heads than some of the competition. Yes, I mean, the biggest U drill that I personally put through is a 65mm U drill, which is quite considerable, um, and it will drill that without you know, much problem, to be quite honest. I asked you before this interview, do you love coming to work and using these machines? Can you just tell our audience what you said to me? <laughs> yes, yes, of course I do, yeah. <laughs> they pay the mortgage, don't they? Yes, yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're a, uh, yeah, they're a good machine. For this, considering the size of them, uh, the accuracy of them is good. Uh, so the yeah, reliability we, too. We're happy about that. We get a good surface finish on them, and they do everything that we require.